Okay, so let me introduce this conference. This custom conference is an HBCU conference that is in the FBS. So it's competing with the major uh, programs in the FBS and well, the major co the major conferences in the FBS. Um, so decades ago, a bunch of millionaires and on the way millionaires and business owners got together and decided to fund not only institutions in their areas, but as well as the conference all in one and found and found and build this conference into the FBS and keep it in the FBS, you know, well-established booster clubs, well-established community work organizations, even some grassroots movements, everybody came together and to, uh, comes together to help fund and keep funding and keep and found this conference. It's called the Western Champion Athletic Conference, WCAC. First up, we have Truth University. They are located in Orange Hill, Arizona. And as you can see, their, their colors are orange and white. But their uniform, as you can see. <laughs> yes, sir. So, next up, we have Oregon Central Rare Breeds. Oregon Central University is located in Otak, Arizona. Um, excuse me, Otak, Oregon. Now, why they do green and blue, blue and green, I have no idea. But these are the uniforms. And you know what? I'm not mad. I mean, they made it work. They made it work. So I ain't mad. But it's, it's, a, it's a crazy combination. Like, look at that logo. That's crazy. <laughs> Next up, we have California A&M Cowboys, man. Cam. California A&M. Black and gold. You already know. You already know. They are from Gold County, California, ladies and gentlemen. Gold County, California. So let's see these, these are their uniforms right here. I ain't mad. 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 A little high schoolish. I ain't mad. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad though. I'm not mad. Next up we have the Redwood University Devils. Actually, it's crazy because this school actually was founded with the, with the religious, you know, founders, but they still named their team mascot the Devils. Redwood University, ladies and gentlemen. In Redwood, California. So, first, the second team in California. So, y'all got these uniforms right quick. Black over red. Black over the devil red. All whites. Next up, we have the Southern Utah State Dogs. Also known as Susu. <laughs> Blue and purple, another crazy color choice, but I think they made it work. I mean, this is this is fire. They made it work. They made it work. It's crazy. They made it work. I don't. I don't know. I that. I don't know. They did good by making it separate. You know. They made it work. They made it work. Next up is the best in the West, baby. Nevada West University Pirates. Red and white. They are in Redbird, Nevada. And let me tell you, man. I'm actually excited to see these guys play. Basic uniforms. But. Hey. I, <laughs> these, hey. I'm excited to see these guys play. They fire. I like them. Next up is Southern New Mexico Aces. Yellow and black. They are in Terra City, New Mexico. Let me show y'all they let me show y'all they uniforms right quick. Look. <laughs> let me show y'all they uniforms right quick. Yellow and black, baby. Yellow and black. You under attack and you see that yellow and black. No, stop. Let me stop. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> and last but not least, the Washington A N T Bears. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watch the a and Bear. Yeah, I'm hyped. <laughs> yes, I am. I am hyped. So this team is located is located in Freemantown, Washington. Freemantown, Washington. Washington is a state. If y'all didn't know that, not DC. Freemantown, Washington. So these guys are green and gold. Let me show you what these uniforms look like. 
kind of high schoolish, but hey, hey, they make it work. They pulled it off. All right. Okay. Now, so this conference is a eight-team conference. Only eight schools were able to be founded, established, and funded, and continually funded to play to compete in the FB, on the FBS level. So, so after a few years of regression for the MIAC conference on the FCS level, they finally put together plans and established some money and some. I don't know, man. I mean, some wanting for any school to compete uh, within them. And, of course, Chicago State University in Southern Chicago uh, was more than happy to join the MIAC. They, they came. They embraced the MIAC. They love it. So they finally got them a stadium uh, built. They finally uh, got a team established, got a couple of recruits to actually compete in the MIAC. And their football program is ready to go for this year. And they are now the fifth member of the MIAC. Now, the sixth member of the MIAC, which is us, Dallas a and kind of does not make sense geography-wise. Like, we are all the way in the south. We're in Texas. These schools are really in the Midwest area. But with me, the MIAC desperately need to expand. And with Dallas wanting to be in the MIAC and desperately wanting to be in the MIAC, they, they brought us on. They brought us on and, uh, you know, money games, baby. That's how we're going to travel and make sure that they can get to Dallas and we can get to the Midwest whenever we need to, baby. <laughs> it's going to be the men. It's going to be hard, but we're going to get it done, and we are going to be prosperous. And that will be the MEAC outside of the regular teams, which is North Carolina Central University, NCCU. Like Eagles, y'all. Like Eagles, y'all. Howard University. Uh, Bison, the real HU, <laughs> Morgan State, baby, Morgan State Bears, South Carolina State, South Carolina, South Carolina State Bulldogs, Norfolk State Spartans, Norfolk State is Behold the Green and Gold, Delaware State, the Hornets, those are the rest of the media. Now for the swag. Y'all should know who the swag is. I always talk about the swag and swag. So y'all should know who in the swag, baby. But I'm going to go ahead and kick it off with the I love. The one and only Jackson State University, baby. Them tigers. You see that white tiger right there, baby? Let's go. Jackson State in the building. Next is, of course, uh, boo, FAMU. FAMU Rattlers. Prairie View. a and Alabama State University. Alabama State. Alabama State University. The the uh <clears throat> the Braves um <clears throat> whatever you know if you know you know Southern University whatever you know Southern the G Men uh TSU Texas Southern University Alabama A and M Bethune Cookman hail the Wildcats oh Mississippi Valley <laughs> Valley APB though that would be the twelve swag schools and then our independence is going to be north carolina north carolina a t uh also referred to as the school up the road by the uh eagles the ncc eagles <laughs> tennessee state tigers oh man the the tsu tennessee state tigers and last but not least the hampton pirates the other hu so that would be the oh hold on now those are where those are independents so as you can see we have the true recruits and the juco prospects now like i said if you want to be in this world you're going to have to go through the recruitment process because i've already built the teams and we already got games rolling so you're going to have to you're going to have to through the, go through the recruitment process so you can either be a true uh, I would suggest doing it through the true recruit. Just come straight out of high school. But if you want to do the Juco world, I'm not going to stop you. You want to be a Juco, be a Juco. But just know when it comes to coming out of a Juco, you know, it's you only get two years. So if you come out of Juco and you a C plus rating, you're not going to get to that A rating to make sure you hit the pro leagues, uh, you know, continue on. So it's going to be a little harder because you don't have less time to play. So. Like I said, man, I'll let y'all choose all that. 
that is it for the introductions of the schools. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, prospects, recruits, whether you're from JUCO or from high school, it is finally here. I've been promising, not even promising, but just talking about this HBCU league that I've had on another game, one of my older games, I've had it, but you know, I never moved it to the new stuff to where y'all can actually see it on the channel and stuff like that. And it was like that because I was waiting on a college football game to drop. Now, if y'all remember, Maximum said they was going to drop 2023. Really, the first initial drop was supposed to be in 2022, but whatever. 2023, now they're saying 2024. So, you know, feeling kind of, you know, it was supposed to really come 2024, but I'm tired of waiting on Maximum. Plus, if they move the date back again for the 5th, 6th, 8th, 20th time, I'm not going to sit and wait on them. Um, I'm not a modder, but... If Maximum fails with the drop, because all I need them to do is release. I don't care how bad the game is. I'm going to play Maximum. But if they decide to push it back to 2025, let's say, well, EA is going to drop in 2024. So if I'm going to have to become a modern mod EA and do that until Maximum finally drops, then that's what it has to be. Or just continue on access. But right now, the HBCU college world that I have is now going to be on access and with that being said, um, it's gonna start. It's gonna reset. So you're gonna see. So you're gonna see a lot of familiar names. So don't worry about all that though. Y'all gonna enjoy the ride because now y'all gonna know where stuff came from. Which means I'm gonna have to stop saying Lucky Freeman was the first Jackson State player and HBCU player and FCS player to win the Heisman because you know <laughs> it done. I got. I reset the world. So I reset the world. That's like. That's like if if this year was the first year of the HC football world, Lucky Freeman doesn't win the Heisman until 20, 30 years from now. So I had to stop saying like that's how far it is in the actual. Well, actually, it's further than that. It's probably like 40, 50 years further than actually like 40, 40, 50 years. So everybody who's ever had a son who's athlete and played has already had their son go through. And like I, I'm talking about, like this world is deep and it's been going on for a long time. I just ain't, I just you know, I, don't, I ain't never put it on the channel, you know. But we're gonna restart, and now it's on the channel. And right now it's gonna be on access until maximum drops. Like I said, I'm not gonna repeat all of that because you know it's, it's three minutes into the video, so let's do this. So right now, baby. Now y'all know my HBC in real life is Jackson State JSU Tigers. The I love. Yes, sir. However, in this in this HBCU world. I wanted my own HBCU, especially for the channel. Like I wanted my own HBCU, just like my own professional team, Greenwood Seminoles. I want that to be a name brand. Well, I want this school to be a highly loved, adorned, and powerful school. So no matter what game is on, where I'm at, if you know me, you know the school. If you know the school, you know me. Or maybe you just know school by itself. However, I just want the school name and my, you know, all my teammates. I want them up. So Dallas A T, baby. Dallas A N T HBCU founded and built in southern area of Dallas HBCU because if you know the thing about Dallas you know that's where we at you that's where we at right now so <laughs> without further ado I'm finna show y'all I'm finna talk to this team now you know, of course Dallas NT of course you know you know agriculture and, and, and technology because you know what you know what it is anyway y'all know I have you know y'all see me figure out this green and this mint mix y'all see me figure it out y'all see me messing with it and trying to tweak it here and there but um on my i've, I've kind of got it perfected to where it looks really good on uniforms but I'm, I'm gonna do some more work with it you know once we get maximum i'm gonna do more work with it but um you know due to lack of, of proper logos for team name we're going with the the uh, varsity letter d pause on that uniforms baby so look like I said, I kind of been tweaking with it, but it, it, you can't lie. That's fine, though. That's fine. It ain't too much. It ain't too much. It ain't. It's fine. It's fine. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I think my 2023 version was better. Not going to cap. But, you know what I'm saying? This right here, this a do. It'll do. It'll do. It's going to do. So, that's what we're going to keep. That's how we're going to rock it, baby. That's how we're going to do it. If you want a player on the team, right? If you want to play on the team, you have to comment. You know what I'm saying? And at the at and with that being said, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share using my hashtag Fairtrade Gaming to help my channel go 
grow. Recently, we celebrated 75 subscribers. Guys, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Um, let's hit 100, baby. That's let's hit 100. Please help me hit 100. Now, if you want to be on the team, remember you have to comment. And when you comment, I'm going to throw you into the recruiting board. So we're going to recruit you. If you want to be on Dallas A&T specifically, for sure you want to be on Dallas A&T. You want to be with us? Let me know, and I'll, I'll get, I'll do the. Cause you know how some players they already have a team they want to be recruited. Like there's a kid that played for Duncanville right now who's been wearing Longhorn sleeves and gloves before he had an official commitment. Uh, you know he's been doing it since freshman year. I think he was doing it literally too. So if you want to be one of those types, like you know for sure you're going to Dallas. All we gotta do is offer and you commit it. Let me know, and I'll, I'll, uh, you will come to this team. You will come to this. I'll put you on this team. That's how. That's how we're gonna do it. However, if you just wanna be in the world, no matter. You know, if you like, for my guys who went to HBCU, shout out to y'all. If y'all want to be play for y'all HBCU, HBCUs, let me know, and I'll get y'all on the commitment process for those teams. However, you gotta remember in this world on Axis because this is not the full world on Axis. I'm only doing D1. So, you're not going to see any D2 schools. So, right now, at quarterback, we got the true freshman, true freshman, Chabari Blackshire. Now, you've you seen his name. If you, I ain't going to say where from. you seen his name. You know his name. He's been on the channel before. He, this, this, like I said, I resetting. So, this, 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 hey, this the kid. He's our true freshman. So, I, I'm not looking to take him out at all. I'm not looking to recruit a QB to start in front of him. We have him for at least two years at least two years so if he decides he wants to go pro in two then you know i will know i will start recruiting if he decides not you know i ain't gonna recruit another like really 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 good quarterback until the second year so i'm just letting y'all know man don't 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 think you finna come and start at qb it's not happening <laughs> i already got my guy now start running backs we have monty terry and Joey Nolan, Monty, this is his, this could, this is potentially his last year. He's already done two years. You know, he got one more. Uh, if he wants to, he can do two more. But pretty much, he's probably gonna do. He's probably gonna shoot for that uh, NFL. So we might see him in the HBC Legacy Bowl. We might not. It depends. He might not need it. So depend on the type of year he has. But we got him, and then we got Joey Nolan and Wyatt Smith. These guys, backup running back Wyatt, Wyatt Smith. I believe he's gonna be our backup. I'm not sure. I'll figure out the depth chart later. But anyway. These guys are going to our backfield. Look out for them. Uh, yeah, and then we have a man on the way out the door, Gregory Hubbard. He's going to just be proud to graduate from Dallas. <laughs> for our receivers, we got Spencer Payne, Quinn Mooton, Caleb Fitzgerald. I'll be looking for Fitzgerald in the, in the slot, for real. Um, I'm, we're going to see how often we uh, look to the slot and depend on that. All these games are user games, by the way, for us. All our games are going to be user. We're only going to be watching the other two. And I'll explain how that works in a little bit. So these are our starting three. Phil Turner coming in at four. So, hey, let's see how that works out. Tight end, we got Max Zahner, Colton uh, Cochran, Corbin Cross. Now, we are going to be weak at tight end, which is fine. That's fine. We're going to be weak on the line as well. Nicholas West. We got Jay Mahler Sr. He's a father. So, <laughs> so we're gonna be looking to see his son maybe in a few years here <laughs> 10 15 years later all right lawrence griffin lucci stephens douglas judge and then after that we have nobody of real good talent to back these guys up anybody gets hurt we're done we're done that line is done the line is cracked makai peterson is a, a starter for our defensive lineman best defensive lineman we have we hoping he can get some sacks and you know Hey man, somebody can hopefully somebody steps up, develops well. You know, we got some, we got some, yeah, we got some seniors. Makai's a senior, Keenan is a senior, so yeah, man. Hopefully, our young guys develop. Linebacker core, four linebackers: the Brickashaw Greenwood, best linebacker on the team, and he's trying to prove that he's the best linebacker in college. Got to love it, man. This will be his last year. He's good enough to skip the HBCU Legacy Bowl. We might not see him go, but if he does not put up numbers like we need him to, he will be in the Legacy Bowl trying to prove why he shouldn't be in the Legacy Bowl. Bibby Morris is uh, next to him. Uh, he's also, he mm, for sure might go to that Legacy Bowl. And then you have Rutherford McDonald right next to him. Billy Gross, 
So I'm I'm expecting about four defensive, four, five or six defensive, uh, actually, uh, guys to go pro. Not even gonna lie to you. So I didn't even look at the defensive back, but so far we got Black Tail Cochise. This man is good enough to skip the HBC Lacey boy. I don't see him going. If he put, doesn't pick up, put on like I said, it's about putting up numbers. They put up numbers, they can skip it. You know, they gonna automatically be drafted. If not by the other teams, by my team for sure. Green with similar love to have him. Um, Dutari Travante. Now, this guy and Eric Johnson, well, no, they two, these guys are young, so, you know, with development, maybe they can get to his level and they won't have to worry about that. Adrian Hickson, true freshman. Oh, man. Hey, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he develops well. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Adrian Hickson, true freshman. Number two. Yes, sir. He would be our cornerback. Then behind him, behind him, we got Kyler Walton and Caden Lambert. So, Defense looking good. Ellsworth Escobar is our kicker. He's a decent kicker. He's gonna make. He might make it pro. I believe he will though. And then we have Lane Villarreal, Villarreal, yeah Villarreal. So yeah, I can't say his last name, but hey, that boy there, he's a fire punter. He's gonna make it pro for sure. Coming out of who that we that. So y'all know how we do. And that is the official roster. That's the official roster, baby. So. That'll be all for this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share with my hashtag Ferrotrack Gaming. I love y'all. Y'all love me. Make sure you turn tune in for the next video because it will be the start of this world. Peace.